<laughs> it is time to become one with your destiny. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the uh, show from TNL Nutrition Coaching. Uh, Eric Stratman, how you do? I mean, uh, Darth Stratman, how you doing this morning, sir? Very good. How are you guys doing? Yeah, doing great. Let me get some light on here. Oh, so what are you, you? Are you in your bed? Oh, there you go. Couldn't resist that. No, I'm in my living room. I just wanted to, uh, you know, get this going. All right. Well, listen. Uh, and for all of us, you know, that are bacon lovers. Ah, there you go. look at that. Mm, that's that's cool it, shirt. baby. Uh, we'll lift for. Maybe we can bounce it out a little bit. Bounce it out. You, <laughs> you and you can, Terry. You can bring his levels down a little bit. You and Terry Cruz. All right, uh, I wanted to bring up um, the, uh, the picture of my... Th Let's see if I can do this or if it's going to mess everything up here. Uh, because I did w get on the, the scale this morning and weigh myself. So Nice. All right. <laughs> How are those measurements working out? Well, that's well. We we can start right there. All right. So, by the way, here again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a 45 year old man that feels like a 90, a 99 year old every time that I try to put something on this screen and then go to simply um, try to minimize it so I can get to something else. And I have because well, you got it stretched. So I have you to turn to my son, John. Hey, Johnny, <laughs> can you can, can you help cut Grandpa uh, minimize a GD a window this morning? <laughs> We will still have to. It actually looks better in the light. While we are waiting, you will yeah. now. Oh, you know what? I thought it was one of those like filters. I thought it was a filter thing. No, yeah, it's so the real I. deal, baby. All right, so can you do? Can you help me here, Johnny? All <laughs> I, here's what I want to do. I want to bring up my my bare feet and my scale so you can see the numbers this morning. Yeah, just but like, I, I have to minimize this effing thing now. Yeah, hit uh, F11. F you. No, sorry, sorry. That's that was uncalled for. F11. I got a Mac, man. There's no F11 on a Mac. Yeah. Top right. Top I like mac and cheese. Top right. No, that, you have PC. There's no F1s and F2s and F3s. I'm, on a, on a I'm looking at an F11 on a Mac right here. Well, okay, not on MacBook Pro. Hold on. Then. Please. Yeah. I, I I'm I'm sorry that I am um, so. this right this is so agitating right now that it's it's such a simple See? All right, so I don't feel so bad now. So why don't you keep talking to us right now? That's how I feel. Ah. All right, Eric, let, let's just talk. Well, you know, so while while he's trying to uh, do that, uh, yeah. so I'm all excited. Last night, I, I, I head out to my uh, gig, and I swing into a CVS before, or Walgreens, rather, beforehand, because nice. I, I feel I need, to get, I need to get my measuring tape, right? So yeah. they have these little they have these little sewing kits and whatnot. One of the sewing kits has a measuring tape in it. Perfect, nice. four ninety five. I buy it. So I break it out this morning, and here's here's the extent of the measuring tape. It gives you about two feet worth of. <laughs> it gives you twenty six inches of measuring tape. How how does this wow. make any sense at all? It does, I mean, if, unless you're making a four-year-old a pair of shorts, I don't think you could really do much with that. How, how does this make, why is this even in a kit? I guess uh, I, I have no idea. So you just make the pass by Michaels or Joann's or whatever and uh, get one of the 72-inch or 60-inch uh, yeah. material tapes and right. get it done. So just lay it on me. What was the weight? Uh, so the weight was 248.8 this morning. All right. Or two forty eight point four something. Yeah, two forty eight point four. Right. Uh, so this that's not what I, I do not like that. I was uh, below two forty just a couple of months ago. I put on ten pounds in the last. You know, basically since we uh, I got f let go of my last gig, and uh, you know was also in the middle of the house buying process. And food is my you know anti anxiety medicine. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I put on over ten pounds in the last uh, couple months, and I'm not happy about that. Well, if it makes you feel any better, when my wife was pregnant with my son, we were about to open. Uh, TNL CrossFit, you know, uh, a little over 10 years ago. And I put, uh, we had about a three month delay between the old facility we were in and the new facility. I put on 35 LBs. What? Pretty awesome. Yeah. I see. When, when I hear, when I hear that kind of stuff from somebody like you, there we go. Just put that up over your face. <laughs> but when I, when I can see, when I hear that kind of stuff coming from somebody like you, and I've known you for 15 years and you've always yeah. been in great shape. Uh, the one that makes me, I mean, honestly, it does make me feel a little bit better that even somebody like you can get into a phase where, for whatever reason, next thing you know, you're packing on the pounds. 
Yeah, I mean, you gotta, you know, what what I like to really emphasize to everybody is we have seasons in our life, right? We can't be perfect. We can't have all these things that happen, you know, consistently for us. And as we touched on the first show, and I'll t- try to touch on this every show, consistently average always trumps seldom perfection. So you you know you just stay average with it. Yeah, I packed on those thirty five, but you know it took me uh, about half of that. Well, no, it's about the same amount of time to take it off. But, you know, and that's the other thing with weight gain. You don't gain five pounds in a weekend. You know, some people get on the scale and go, oh, my gosh, I gained five pounds this weekend. But like uh, we said before, it takes two weeks of consistently eating bad. Like you're saying you put on 10 pounds, you probably put that 10 pounds on because you had weeks of habitual rest and eating. Now that we're going to give you activity and monitor your calories – which we've been doing okay, which I'm proud of you. You got a little action this week. You know, Getting we're, there. We're going on, you know, and then, uh, you know, and, and we're looking at your weight. We're saying 248.8, and that's where the uh, the benefit of the, mis- the, the measurements are going to come in for us is because if we can now quantify where that weight is gone, because if you went up a pound but you lost a quarter inch on your waist, I know you gained a little bit of muscle. Your muscle's retaining a little bit more water because muscle is 70% water, so a lot of people don't like to see weight gain during a weight loss process. But if, let's say you lost five pounds, and then you gained a half an inch on your waist. Well, that's a problem because you're super dehydrated, and you're gaining uh, fat and losing muscle. That's not something we want, even though the weight, even though the scale said five pounds off. Um, also, I... You know, I, I think something you, you've brought it up every week, and I think it's something that you probably will or should bring up every single week, and that is when you uh, talk about that perfection versus uh, average. Yeah, uh, because I know for me, and, and I would imagine for a lot of people, when they started, we start a new diet. Um, as soon as we f it up, that's it. You know, Done. that's it. You, you're like, well, I screwed it up. I can't do this, and I'm, I'll just wait till next year. I'll start ne- next January first. Yeah, exactly. Forget Monday. Let's go next year. Right. Um, so, um, so that you bring that up every single week, I think is going to be important, not just for me, yeah, but for everybody else. So uh, watching absolutely. and, uh, and, and talk about that a little bit more, what that means to, um, to be consistently average versus, you know, every now and again, perfect, you know, great that you're, that we're highlighting this is because, you know, it's a mindset initially, right? So you have to have the discipline or, uh, the, the wherewithal to have, an exercise program that you're going to go, whether that's 15 minutes of walking a day or that is uh, going to be, you know, we're going to prep our food. Those are all good items. But, you know, the key is, is that if we gave you uh, a calorie goal, which we did in your MyFitnessPal, and if you're near it every day, then that's average. If you do, if you hit it on the nose three days in a row, and then you're like, okay, well, the next day I went over by 500 calories. Uh, and then the next day you're, you're right near there. That's where we're going to get that consistently average. I mean, if you're only going to be satisfied being within 10 calories of your goal, and then if you're not there, then you're way over. That's what we want to get away from that people have to understand that if you're close to what you're, you set out to do, then it's key. But, you know, consistently average of what? Now, now you have a goal, you have uh, a, a macronutrient, protein, fat, and carbohydrate goal that we can look at going after. And then also we have the, the side of exercise. We said we wanted you to get 20 to 30 minutes in a 